Okay, okay, okay. Trey six hundo. Three six double O. Let's go, y'all. Y'all know what's going on, man. What? You hear me? That's how that's the message for the day, boys. But anyway, um, time went on and the, and, and, and the shit was called primo. Everybody see the, the drug changed from the weed back then to where niggas were putting shit in their weed. And then I found one nigga say he was on some zombie. The nigga told me I'm on some monkey piss. I, I knew right then I didn't want none. Uh, that nigga said piss. I didn't want nothing to do with no PP. You understand me? He threw me out the motherfucking block. I run into all type of demons in these streets that's trying to trap me. It had me stuck in the traps. One thing y'all need to learn about a trap, it is what it's called. For all you young trappers, uh, bars. It is what it's called. It's, it's strictly made for y'all. It's just like, if, if you niggas don't know why they call it that, learn about it. Y'all think they call it that because it's a good place to go. That's why I'm hoping it sound good for a name. But they gave it the best name in the world. A trap. Because once them people pull up, ain't no getting out. You trap. Once them demons pull up, ain't no getting out. You trap. See, they don't look at it like they don't tell you youngsters the real thing. They don't tell you what's in the weed. They don't tell you what's in the streets. They don't tell you what's in them traps. They just make the trap look like the place to be. Niggas come out there, yeah, good. Come over and go hustle for me. See, they ain't always about being on the drugs. It's about the niggas behind the bars, too. It goes different ways. This shit is vice versa. Ain't nobody winning, because one day he think he winning, because he bang. Oh, yeah, you got, what you clock about about 100000 a day, nigga. I, I, 10 clean a day. Nigga clean, God damn it. Uh, yeah. He think he winning, because he, you know. But when it's all said and done, the trap ends up exactly what it is, a trap. I'm going to let y'all know, I done been hit with all drug charges, um, every type of way that you can name one. I came for it to get caught with a weed seed, nigga. I don't fuck around. I just sit to my goddamn self, nigga. I don't say. There's no way to trap. No way. But there's always a way to stay right, youngsters. I'm sorry. I said these goddamn donuts so good. Let me put these motherfuckers back over here some goddamn one. Get them out of my goddamn face. Oh, shit. But anyway, man, I, I grew up and, and niggas started lacing the weed fucking off the game. Um, one thing about the game, nigga, when somebody throw you on a habit that you don't, I done seen a lot of niggas fuck over people that's green. I was a green nigga. I don't mind saying, no, nah, nigga, I was bad. I was tough, but I didn't, I didn't know nothing about no street shit. I grew up in church. I didn't have a mom and dad to teach me how to cook no dope. I didn't have a mom and dad to teach me how to bust no gun. I didn't have a mom and dad to teach me how to have to do the now because my parents weren't into shit like that. Um. Uh. But I was around people that made shit that looked like that. Looked like that was cool. See, so what's one thing y'all got to learn about the world, y'all? Style is the very dangerous, dangerous, dangerous plague. Damn, that was good, God. I'm sorry, y'all. This plague, style. What's in style is a very dangerous plague. And, it, and it's doing its job. It's purging the town out. With the traps, you it's a trap every motherfucking world. The sad thing, but you know, um, it ain't just police hitting traps. Niggas rather get hit by the law than a trap. Then get hit, then the trap. The guy get hit. Yeah, them niggas hit the trap last night. Which one? Over on the somebody ran up in that hole. What, what happened? Shit, they, they took everything and uh, little moo moo and cuckoo. They did. Oh, what the dope man. The dope man and, and, and oh yeah, they, they smoked them coming through the door. Oh man, damn! See one thing, it ain't worth it. This shit right here, silver and gold, can never take the place of your soul. I didn't see every trap, man. I, I was trapped in my past for years. I found out 
I'm still trapped in the past. I'm trying to run from that motherfucker. I'm still running. I got a head start on that hoe, though, bitch. I'm so far gone. I'm looking back at it. I don't want that bitch to catch up to me. But see, my past is catching up to me. Let me show y'all. See that? Look at all the gray hair I got. Look at that. That means my past is catching up. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. I'm going to let y'all soak in life for a minute. Trey 600, we, we, like I said, we heard food for thought. I'm going to let y'all soak in there for everybody past going to catch up to them. It's a trap. Get out. If you can, get in. They say the money all good. It's just the niggas in the trap is all hood. Spoken word. I didn't seen them dipsticks French. I ain't seen the <laughs> blue. I ain't seen crack pipe smoking. <laughs> Blowing out the, the whitest smoke they can see. I ain't seen them fry sticks frying. I ain't seen them boy and girls blowing. I ain't seen niggas on the plate blowing, hair run, just they, they, they got the shit, what they call it on. Shit, one in ones, a brand on this side. I ain't seen it all, nigga. I done been in every trap there is. I ain't been in all types of I ain't seen the tragedy that come with it. I ain't seen the hell that come with it. I ain't seen the curses that come with these traps. It's a trap, nigga. Any youngster that heard me today and hear somebody say, cuz you wanna come work in the trap for me? Just let you know now he just trying to get you trapped. It's come from OG person. He's just trying to get you trapped. Go look at him and say, nah, I'm bigger than that, homie. I don't, I don't. Go tell him I can trap by myself. I trap myself. Nah, I don't need no help to trap myself. I'm gonna trap myself on to a higher learning. I'm gonna trap myself on to college, nigga. Yeah, how you gonna do that? I'm gonna stay in school. Fuck you mean how I'm gonna do it, tough guys. You guys don't sound so tough when you're trying to tell a real. A, a guy that's way that can read better than you, um, my vocabulary better, my English better than yours. Um, the way I pronounce my words, I sound like a nerd because I can because I got correct English, but y'all the tough guys. Now, you the guys, I'm gonna be looking back at in, in a couple more years, passing up. Um, ask me for a dollar at the store. Oh, let me let y'all know about trapping, it all comes to an end. Niggas that always do something dirty to somebody, it always comes back on them. In them traps, I didn't see niggas sit around the traps. It's all type of games played in the trap. One thing about me in the trap, I didn't never want to get caught in the trap because I used to keep, treat the traps like a prison. Let me see, that's why I tell y'all, traps are worse than prison, y'all. I didn't did time in the traps. I didn't did time in a bad time. Times I wish I wasn't in this motherfucker. Times I'm saying to myself, damn, how I end back up in this bitch ass trap. But that's what it is, partner. You know the motherfucker gonna trap you while you study going to it. It's gonna trap you. I didn't sit at the table with niggas, and sit at the round table and look at niggas get high and disturb people and say how I end up here sitting around this crowd of people. I just ain't shit now. This ain't my life, man. But you sitting around the table with them. You got a choice to jump up and walk off. That's for somebody that's stuck in the traps today. Oh, because that game don't never stop. It's always a trap table. A motherfucker sitting around thinking that they running shit in the trap. The house man. Who's the house man? Get a house lady something. Get something, something. They come in. And then next day, you know, they be at the table, the one bombing. You got to do something over the left. I didn't like traps. I didn't like the big and that came in. I didn't like the characters that came around. Uh, I was a deadly, I always was a deadly nigga in the trap like I was in prison. To be in the traps or in the streets at the same time, you got to be a deadly man. I was dead. I was dead. I, I made my name in the streets. Just as well as I did in prison. Uh, yeah, Percy was known for the nigga to come get your drugs from you and give you a dollar, nigga, and take everything you got. One thing, let me tell y'all something. I wasn't a robber like that. I was a bully like that. Because tales from a crib. Tales from a motherfucking crib. I was walking one day when I was a little kid. True story. My mama gave me a brand new suit and some shoes and told me um, we going to church in the morning and I can go spend the night at my, my friend um, Mike's house. Michael Harrison. Um, so I took out mama say, be ready for church in the morning. I'm going to come through there and I'm going to get y'all. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, here, take your suit with you so you can be ready when I get there to pick you up. 
So I took my suit and I walked through the alley. I was just a young kid, y'all. I was a young kid, man. About like 13, I was like 14 years old. I was, yeah, about 14 years old. 15, I was about 15. I was about 15 years old, yes I was. Um, and I was walking down through the alley and um, I was going to the back of a store called, y'all wouldn't even know this if I told y'all. It was a little, it's gonna go over a lot of y'all heads. But if anybody can recall the Piggly Wiggly stores. Now, now y'all know I'm old. If I say this story right here, y'all know I'm an old nigga for real. Piggly Wiggly. Anybody remember what? Don't worry about it. I'm just talking. Y'all don't nobody know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I went in the back of the Piggly Wiggly because my partner stayed right behind the Piggly Wiggly. And all I had to do was go in the back of the Piggly Wiggly and I met this house. I was here behind the Piggly Wiggly and I met an old nigga coming through there. He said, hey, what's up, young son? He said, hey, I said, hey, what? He said, ooh, boy, you gonna be sure. That's a badass suit you got there. I said, yeah. He said, man, let me check that out. So, you know, me being a kid, you know, I, I respect him. He grabbed a suit like this, man. He said, let me see that badass suit. That, he said, oh, yeah. He said, that's a bad motherfucker right there, man. He said, that's a bad motherfucker. He said, what He said, he said, what you wearing with that? He said, what you wearing with that? I said, oh, I, oh, I, got, I got a pair of shoes. He was holding my seat. I got a pair of shoes. He opened up the box. He looked at them shoes. He said, oh, yeah, these some badass motherfuckers, man. That nigga grabbed a box and he put the box up under his arm. He still had the suit in his hand. I said, okay, and I went to reach for my suit. And that old nigga took out a knife this big. He told me to get back. And that old man tried to kill me in the back of that alley, y'all. If I couldn't run that day, that old man was going to stab me. Because the first thing he did was try to get me and he missed me. And I took off running. I said, man, you ain't going to take my suit. And he said, what? Then that nigga, that nigga, the look in his eyes like, damn, mister. That old man's gonna fuck over me in the back of that alley over that suit and that pair of shoes. He took that. He took, he pulled out a big ass knife on me, y'all. And that old man, I'm looking, look at me in my eyes, y'all, when I tell you. That old man was gonna kill me over that suit, y'all. He was gonna stab me up over that weak ass suit. Don't, uh, no exaggeration. I know it, I seen it in his eyes. The only thing that saved me, I was a little faster than he was on my feet. And I was running like a motherfucker. And I took out. When I took out, because that old man, he put, he had already was ready to do it. He could have pushed me down, punched me or something. That old man finna do some whole shit to a young nigga. Um, when my mama came to pick me up that next morning, y'all know, I'm like, yeah, I had to tell him. I was scared, I went to the house, I didn't know which way to go back home or go to, I went to my partner house, I was close to me. I said, man, dude just took my suit and that. Yeah, so he went and woke his mama up. His mama got up, she opened the phone lights and uh, the, 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 the alley was right behind their house so she can, you know, everybody was gone. She, you know. Only thing I want him to do is to, his mama to tell my mama what happened. She because I ain't gonna be able to tell my mama. Shit. My mama gonna whoop my ass. I got a brand new suit, y'all. Oh, man, you didn't have no business going in back of that store. You should have just walked around. I'm gonna whoop your ass. Damn, mama. Kind of can you say, thank God he didn't kill me? I walked that way to his house every time. I ain't never walked. That's how we go. It's the same routine, the same route. Uh, thank God for a praying mama. Thank God for a God fearing mama. And thank God for a godly mama, period. Because my godly mama, only thing that was on her mind is thank God he didn't kill her baby. I thank God he didn't kill my baby. And just when I thought I was going to get my ass whooped, my mama showed me why she mama. Because she seen the big picture, not the small picture. You okay, D? <sighs> thank God. Praise you, God. Thank you, Jesus. He didn't kill my little black baby back then at that. Because somebody killed my big brother. Yeah, yeah. I'm let y'all soak in that for me. Them spirits been running around this city. Somebody killed my big brother. It's easy. You feel me? See, then the boys, you got to catch in between the lines. But anyway, um, becoming a ruthless child, that right there put a, a spirit in me that fucked, that, that led me to be who I was. I